Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws of Podiatry. We have a very young patient who presents to our office today with multiple chief complaints. I'm only going to present the, the right foot. The left foot is essentially identical. Um, young patient who has been battling this for how many years? Eleven. Eleven years, ladies and gentlemen. Half of my lifetime. Makes me 22 years of age. I like this case a lot because there's a lot of different clinical presentations that a lot of people battle. We are not gonna be doing anything, you know the good old saying, if it ain't broke, we don't fix it. So we won't be doing anything with the bunion. Uh, of relevance, right? Uh, people cannot really tell because the patient is, non, uh, is non-weight bearing. But, and of course, the suntan is there because the foot is already sterile. So the patient has a very long toe, second toe. In addition, extremely unsightly, and we're gonna tag those, um, those pictures as well. Unsightly corn, unsightly corn, and unsightly corn. Um, on the other, on the left foot, it's gonna be essentially the same but it's not the fourth, it's a third. And also the toe is crooked, right? It's crooked. Can you see that there, Caesar? It's crooked. So we're gonna uncrook the toe. And in addition, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and remove a little toe tuck. We'll go ahead and remove the, the little pouch. It's actually bigger on the other side on the second toe. So we're gonna put a standby to this and then we're gonna present the uh, the, you know, the final outcome, we have uh, Dr. Nunez somewhere. Um, uh, anyways, uh, let's get to work. A few inches later. Okay, so we're all we're all done. Continuation part two. <coughs> Is Dr. Nunez okay? Okay, everyone. The transformation has been completed. We have finished, as mentioned before, multiple clinical presentations. The patient originally was not happy with the length of the toes, uh, second toes, second digits, ugly corns, crooked toe. Am I missing anything? That's pretty much it. Yeah, you got it. And then, and then we had a raised toe, mm -hmm. which we also fixed. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm holding with my left hand, holding the second toe. Again, we don't use any pin screws or plates. Office-based surgical suite, patient is wide awake. Uh, patient will walk in, will, uh, will, has walked in, will walk out. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, present the left foot, okay? Um, I'm holding the toe in the, what we call the short compressed you know, position. That's where it's gonna be. You know, We follow the rainbow, the parabola, so to speak. The toe's already swollen, so um, and how can we forget the toe tuck, right? Toe tuck. That's it, right? So wherever you see here, this toe was raised up. We brought it down, okay? Right here, unsightly corn. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys there. One ugly corn here, another ugly corn. And then right here, the toe tuck. You can see that um, the tip of the toe is nice and uh, symmetrical. Very natural contour. And basically, you know, we did the exact same thing. You guys can tell here, right? Same thing. Nice and short, really nice. It already has some antibiotic cream. We're ready to, you know, put everything 
uh, all the bandages in place. Very intricate, very intricate process to say the least. You know, I call it, uh, we'll say the 2080 rule, 20% 20 is what we do in here. And then 80% from this point forward falls on the patient, so to speak. We're seeking compliant patients, patients that will really truly uh, embrace the, the, the investment, which is, ex that this is exactly, you know, what it is. Um, you know, we're not going to talk about, again, the social, psychosocial elements, how this has affected the patient in the last blank years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that all in all, um, this has been a really, really nice case. Like I said before, you know, um, the small in, in what we do, the good old saying, every millimeter counts. Um, and, and it really is true. You know, the patient, um, not sure how was able to watch the entire procedure without not, you know, feeling wheezy or not even passing out. But it was quite the experience, I suspect. Yeah. I right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think this is a very, just like every other story, a very compelling story. Uh, the transformation is absolutely wonderful, even with the stitches there. Uh, you know, a long toes will be around for a very long time ugly corns will thrive and survive fact i speak the truth and you know um i think uh well definitely this is one of those cases that i think is worthy of definitely you know um you know doing like either you know weekly or you know uh, you know every couple of weeks put out a case update Patient lives in Miami, which is a great thing. That's why we can, you know, be able to do that um, and really get some great footage as well. Got it? Footage, foot, foot, footage. Um, Caesar is dying to laugh. Maybe he just wants to. You know, it's Friday. He just wants to be out. As, as always, we will continue to do what we do. We will continue to educate the world. Uh, oh, I, well, one second. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the patient for allowing us to do this video segment. Very well appreciated. I'd like to say, uh, absolutely thank Caesar the Great, doing what he does best. And last but not least, Dr. Nunez, El Maestro, the professor. Uh, you don't have to. Is there anything that you would like to add or say? Well, I'm absolutely happy with this transformation. Like I, for 11 years, I've wanted to change this, and um, it's truly like a, a huge impact in my life because, like you mentioned, socially, like I'll be able to wear. I'm excited to wear like sandals and heels and open toed and everything. So it's definitely a boost of confidence. And um, you guys did an exceptional job, and I'm I'm so glad that I was able to see it. So thank you, doctor. You're thanking me. I should thank you. Well, so, you know, I'm super happy. I'm super happy. You know, on behalf of uh, the entire organization, including Dr. Nunez, we really appreciate all those kind of words. Um, not bad for the first day of work, right? Um, it's a joke. I know. <laughs> it's but but it's you. <laughs> <laughs> we do enjoy what we do. Can't you guys tell? Anyways. Um, Anything else? That's it, we're done, we're good. Everyone, I'm gonna definitely upload this today, so everyone have a wonderful weekend.